Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with the RWMAR 2 News Update. The restrictions that Governor Larry Hogan established during this pandemic will stay in place. This is according to a new ruling. A federal court ruled in favor of the governor and his executive order. A lawsuit against him claimed that the governor went too far with stay at home orders. The ban on large gatherings and the closures of non essential businesses, but the court ruled that the governor used the power that was given to him and made reasonable choices informed by data and science. All special events in Baltimore City now called off, canceled through August the 31st. This includes the 4th of July celebration, AFRAM, and Artscape. The mayor made the announcement today. Now, some of the event organizers are now adapting because of the pandemic. Artscape is going virtual to showcase city artists. City officials say they're just trying to keep everybody safe. It is an uplifting time in the city for for everybody. And while we can't gather as a group, I think what we can do is still showcase the talent that we have in the city through virtual means. And the city still plans on holding fall events for now, but again, that could change. Well, people living in Baltimore will have two more places to vote in person for the June 2nd primary. The city requested it because many of you are still waiting to get your mail-in ballots. The Board of Elections approved the plan during an emergency meeting this afternoon the new locations are going to be Northwestern High in Park Heights and Northwood Elementary in Lock Raven. Uh, the uh, board is also adding 10 more ballot drop off locations. All of the sites are under 24 hour surveillance and you can find a list of all the locations on our website as well. Well, the Blue Angels surprised some graduating Naval Academy midshipmen on Wednesday. They flew right down the Severn as dozens of middies gathered in the courtyard of Bancroft Hall for their swearing in ceremony. This was the final of the five ceremonies that replaced the traditional graduation celebrations. Those who caught the surprise flyover, well, they were thrilled. It means the world to uh, everyone around here. It's such a staple in Maryland and such a staple in Annapolis that um, it's, it's just an awesome experience for all families and people around here to enjoy. Here they come. Parents and spectators in Annapolis are hoping for the full show this time next year. Morning clouds tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 50s. We'll see things a little bit warmer than they were on Wednesday, getting into the mid 60s. I think we're at 66 degrees in the evening, and that's pretty much the universal high across the area. A couple of locations to the north a little bit cooler than that. But the good news, we're on a warming trend. Rain chances, though, also increasing for your Friday. Lingering showers on Saturday, things drying out just in time for Memorial Day. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.